What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, back with another episode of the Market Overview, guys. First off, uh, happy Sunday. I hope you had a great, nice, long weekend. Thanks for joining in today. If you haven't already, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, uh, and keep checking out. Every day, give a free trade plan of how to trade four different tickers, ESF, where you want a long and short, it's SPY, where you can take calls, where you can take puts, and same thing for QQQ and IW. I'm completely free for you guys, hopefully just to give you an overview or a map or guidance of where the market can go, levels of interest that you can trade off of. But without further ado, guys, Friday, we finally got, I mean, look, since we topped out, this is 14 trading days. Three of them were green. 14 trading days from the top, we went down. Three of them were green, including Friday. Friday, the only one looking like we could be putting in a short-term bottom. Where did we bounce? Go figure. The gap fill from the contract rollover okay contract rollover we had a gap up okay so let's see okay let's see if this level holds so for as far as uh uh for tomorrow or this coming week you want to obviously go to the market watch calendar <clears throat> go to the market watch calendar and look to see what's going on this week who's talking is there any fed speakers talking is there economic data coming out are there any um uh, you know, big earnings, et cetera, et cetera. Well, really nothing's going on this week, um, especially Monday, nothing burger. Uh, Tuesday, existing home sales. Wednesday, services and manufacturing, PMI. Uh, then Friday, we have the Jackson Hole Summit. Friday, Jackson Hole Summit. So we want to pay attention there, right? Anytime any Fed speakers are coming out. So Thursday will be pretty important. Um, we'll have all those different knuckleheads talking. We have the jobless claims too uh, before market open. And then and then Powell gives his opening speech here on Friday. If I remember it correctly, last time uh, there was the Jackson Hole speech. I could be wrong here. You'd want to go back. I'm pretty sure it's sold off the moment. Uh, Big Big Daddy P got up to the mic and said hello. Uh, the, mar the market proceeded to have a trend down day pretty significantly, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, not saying that's going to happen this time, but just be ready. If you're going to take a day off from trading Friday, it wouldn't be a bad one just knowing that he's going to come out and speak. He basically talks on the entire health of the entire economy. Okay, uh, earnings, though. What's going on with earnings? Have a few good earnings coming out. Only ones I'm really going to be paying attention to is NVIDIA. Obviously, the 23rd is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Zoom chart. Go look at a Zoom chart. Looks like a pretty nice swing opportunity if they don't miss right as long as they buy it up looks like it's at some very nice buyable levels uh then the other two i'm going to be looking at is going to be lowe's one of them i like lowe's um kohl's and macy's as well those are consumer focused so you can see are people spending money right are people spending money how is that going to help our economy okay how's that going to help the economy so um Without any further ado, now we go to the charts. Let's look at the charts. Look at the charts. Look at the charts. We can see we just had our Globex open here. Uh, looks like a small gap up, barely. A uh, small gap up, but going to be holding this 4380 level. So this can be my level of interest tomorrow. I want to go down to the four hour chart here. Yep, there it is. Can I zoom this out? Stick with me. I know I have a lot of levels. I got to go clean this chart up. When you chart it every day and you're adding new levels, I mean, it's just going to get a little bit uh, hairy sometimes. Okay. Nonetheless, though, guys, this has been a down trending market. Okay. Now we need to get above uh, basically Friday's high to show what? A change of structure, a break of structure. Make a higher low in here sometime tomorrow possibly or just get back above make a higher high that would be a change of structure so 4368 to 4380 in this area down here i'm going to be looking for any sort of bounces any sort of higher lows in this area down here especially overnight if we get that you can look at longs and take the longs all the way up to about 4400 Okay, take the longs to 4,400. Now, if we do get above 4,400, you'd want to watch what level's above. Well, where did we break down from last time? Uh, we broke down from about 4,020 to about 4,030 in this area up here. So if you get the longs from this level down here, whether it's a dead cap bounce, dead cap bounce or small, small short-term reversal, because like we said, guys, the market's been downtrending here off the highs. Okay, you want to, okay, you want to play the trend. The trend is your friend. 
Okay, the trend is your friend. Now we have to break back above basically 4,400. We break back above 4,400, 4,408, 4,420, 4,435 to the upside. So plan, this is my plan. As long as literally the lows hold from 4350, obviously, but I like this 4368 to about 40, 4380. As long as any dips into this area hold, okay, target 4400, 4480, 4420. 4420, you probably want to be out of your position because at that point, with this supply here that we can see, this is just four hour supply, lots of sellers in here. Uh, don't you think there's going to be some left over? Likely. I'd be looking for the reject to come in and get some points on a on a short scalp anywhere from 4420 up to 4427. Now, if we break and hold above 4440, that's a major feat for the bulls. That's a major feat for the bulls. But we're going to take it one day at a time, guys. So look at dips into 4368 to 4380 to hold um, or look at the reject at 4420 area. Okay, spy chart here. Whoop. Spy chart here. Got to zoom out. Like I said, I got to clean these charts up because we've been chart these every day for years and years and years. I got to clean them up. But same thing here, right, guys? I'm going to be looking for the dips into 434, 4, 434, 435 to hold down here, right? As we can see, we had a huge demand area to bounce at over here. That's why we were looking at calls on Friday morning. We took them right out of the open, made a buck and a half on them, which was great. Uh, but as far as for mon Monday tomorrow, uh, 434 to 435, I want to see dips into this area hold. If we can get back above this 436.50, that would open up this 439. That's a big level here at 439. As you can see, we had the multiple bottom and then the final breakdown and through. So if you're going to long these levels from four, pretty much 443, I guess 443 could really be your absolute low. But I, I to show some strength for bulls, I really want to see 434 to 435 hold. If it does, 436 is your first price target. 439 is your second price target. You definitely want to be out here because anywhere from 439 to 440, you want to be looking for the reject with the supply here on the four hour. Obviously, if we get above 441.50, that's a huge feat for the bulls. Then 442.50 is the level above there. QQQ Investo, Invesco, excuse me. Uh, QQQ, very much the same as you can see. We even dipped below that 357.50 level. I really like that we had some multiple tops at. Okay. Um, but we got back above it. Okay. We we broke below, immediately reclaimed it. That's a good start. That's a good start for a relief bounce rally. Okay. Got to get above 360. 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 Above 360 would open up. 362 all the way up to 363 this is the reject zone i would definitely be looking at for um because of the supply right just like the other two charts charts i just showed you the trend is your friend don't just go thinking we're going to break out of this level on the first attempt i guarantee there's going to be a put scalp opportunity there if we get through so we're going to want to see 355 to 356 hold on any higher lows okay to show we have a break of structure Takes us up first price target 360, second price target 362, where you probably want to be out of your longs, be looking at a short reject there at 362, 363. Last but not least, I WM. IWM. Uh, very nice strength here on IWM on Friday. Let's see if I this. Okay, nice strength here on IWM. So Look, we saw where we had our bounce levels for Friday, went right down to 182.50, right? Right down to that 182.50. Underneath 182.50 or 182, really only interested in longs at 179.50. Now, if we want to try to break and hold through this, because you see how we had this huge breakdown here on IWM basically went back and retested the supply of that breakdown, right? But held. So a little bit more strength here is what I mean. So at this point now, as long as we are stay above 184, right? As long as we stay above 184, I'll be looking for that break and hold of 185, 25, or just break and hold of the previous day high. Okay, break and hold of that previous day high would take us right back on up here to 187. Okay, 187, then 189.50 is going to be above there. Okay, but uh, for this chart, I'll be playing, hey, any dips into 184 to hold could come all the way down to 183.50. So call 183.50, 184, depending where we open up. 
dip and go or the break and hold of 185. 25 opens up at 187, 189 above there. Guys, if you like what I had to say today, hey, drop a comment in and say thank you. Uh, let me know what your favorite part was. Let me know what you're going to be trading tomorrow. I'm very interested. I hope all of you guys have a great trading day tomorrow. And thank you again for tuning in. And I always end all of my videos with, you got to wake up early, get your levels right. And of course, not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.